Hi guys, this is Mo and once again welcome into my channel Review Infinity. So today I'm going to make a very special video, but this special video is not a review video or a reaction video. This is a video where uh, you know what uh, this video is indeed special. Now when I you know uh, previously used to mention the word special, I used to you know feel like a lot of fun lot of you know humor lot of uh, energy and a lot of positivity used to walk you know inside me uh, when i used the word spe special in my other reaction videos but this time in this video i am mentioning special with a lot of negative mood with a lot of negativity where i am sick and tired and uh, i'm just literally you know blast literally want to blast and uh, I'm not in a good mood. I'm not in a fun mood. I am literally, you know, in a irritated mood. I'm literally in a, you know, mood of irritation and agitation. Now, uh, why I'm making this video? I'm making this video and why? On what basis I'm just making this video? Recently, we have had a very big issue that took over the, our country. That is the 1st January uh, incident that took place uh, in Bengaluru MG Road. And uh, I'm going to uh, give a video. I'm, I'm. This video is on that issue, and uh, this is not. I'm just saying that this is not a reaction on that particular issue. I'm just saying that this is my voice. Enough of keeping shut. I'm so sick and tired of it. Enough of keeping shut. This is the first time I want to speak what I want to say. This is a very, very easy thing that I want to say what I want to speak, and nobody can stop me. Nobody can stop me. So, people, good people who don't know about this incident, I must explain a little bit about them, a little bit to them about this incident is that on the New Year's Eve, when the whole world was celebrating New Year's Eve, our country was, you know, was also celebrating the New Year's Eve as our country used to do for so many years. And uh, same celebration was going on like Bang uh, in Bangalore MG Road, which is the most urbanized, you know, part of that uh, part of the state. Uh, in that uh, urbanized, the most urbanized part of the state, um, something happened, something very serious happened, which shook the shook the whole country in a very, you know, what I will say, in a very big rector scale, I must say. It shook the country in a very big rector scale. Well, uh, when the whole world is celebrating when Bangalore MG Road was uh, you know a ma mass of crowd a mass of people was celebrating like other states also uh, celebrating the new year's eve uh, on 1st jan 2017 uh, you know with their friends families their loved ones and with their partners and whatever it is they were celebrating a mob of hooligans i will say a mob of animals i will not consider these human beings as you know human beings i'm i'm not ready to consider these human beings as human beings because they are not human beings at all they are just like animals and when i i believe that when human beings started starts to behave animals they become you know they are not even eligible for animals animals are all you know also very good you know in compared to this animals animals come human beings so these hooligans, this uh, mob of hooligans who are drunk, drunk, you know, above their, you know, uh, top level, they were drunk and they, you know, uh, came into this MG road and suddenly appeared in the MG road and uh, mixed up with the crowds who are celebrating their uh, new, new Year's Eve in the MG road way, uh, in Bangalore with a, in a peaceful way. They mixed up with the crowd and started to sexually molest women, started to grow, uh, grow uh, girls started to you know uh, you know what i will say um, uh, physically you know physically assault women and uh, this didn't uh, you know get stopped the mobs of hooligans didn't stop their activities until and unless 8000 uh, you know police officers were uh, police officers and constables were deployed in mg road and they have to do a lati charge uh, to stop those hooligans stop those mob and uh, I don't know what was the result. I don't know that uh, anybody was uh, anybody got arrested or not. But uh, as far as I got the information that uh, you know, people uh, you know uh, those uh, uh, those police officers, those cops, started to uh, you know review the footage of different media 
uh, that time, uh, you know, that particular point of time when different medias, different channels took uh, took the live footage and they started to analyze this to, you know, detect, to spot out those hooligans so that they can, you know, uh, arrest those uh, animals. Okay, so this is the issue. Uh, now, why, why I am just talking about this issue? Seriously, I don't need to talk about this issue because, you know, this has become a daily thing in our country. Yeah, seriously, this has become a daily thing in our country. Now, you know, uh, being a citizen of India, I feel that you have to get molested. Yeah, I mean, like going out of the, uh, going out, uh, you know, from home to some work or to some party or whatever it is, like you have to come with some sexual molest. In the, in the way, you know, uh, you have to go through some sexual molest as, as if you are a woman. And, uh, you know, in India, as a woman, I, I know, as a woman, I know that Indian women in their whole lifetime, not a single Indian woman, I can challenge, not a single Indian woman hasn't faced a little bit, uh, at least at a little bit of sexual molestation in their whole life. They have faced it. Each and every woman of India has faced this, maybe a little, maybe a, in a bigger way, but they have faced that sexual molestation. They have faced that you know, that type of problems in their life in any point of time, but they have faced it. Nobody can, you know, argue in that. Not a single woman, every woman has faced this. I have faced this. I mean, like every, my friends, I mean, like all of the women has faced this in our country. But why? What is wrong with our country? You know, we always blame government. We always blame, blame the police. The police has not taken any types of action. Government has not taken any types of action. And there is always a constant blame from the, you know, uh, from the government or something like that. That why, you know, some ministers, I, I don't know, I don't remember, but some minister just said that why girls wear short skirts? Why? I mean, like uh, girls wearing short skirts means your, I mean, those animals' dicks are coming up, coming up. And they were just like excited and they got, you know, they did a mistake. What can we do? What? We stay in a country where, I mean, like we stay in a country where people live a double standard. People live a double standard rule. And where, you know, we live a country where a porn star become an actress. But at the same time, those people who love a porn star and support her to become an actress, those same people, you know, oppose the AIB knockout just because they don't want to hear slangs. Okay, so you love a porn star, but you don't love slangs. Okay, that's a different thing. We live in a country where a rapist openly tells that it's her fault. It's not my fault that I rape her. It's her fault. It's not my fault. Why did she went out in, a, in the middle of the night to have a party? Why did she wear, you know, small clothes? She, she should wear a burqa like that. Why? I mean, like she wear small clothes. That's why I got excited and I just, did my, you know, I mean, like what I will say. I rape her. Simple. So these are the statements made by a rapist openly in our country. And what happens? What was the result? Did the rapist got any type of, you know, uh, special punishment for this type of, this, you know, making this type of st statements? No. The rapist didn't get any type of special punishment for, especially for making this statement. No, he didn't get any punishment. In fact, that person who made the documentary and who took the, uh, you know, uh, interview, that documentary got banned in our country. Yeah. That documentary got banned in our country, but this, you know, rapist was not, you know, uh, not being faced for making this type of statements, right? So, this is the country we live in. Now, the thing is that we don't say anything. We don't say anything. We have a tendency to keeping ourselves shut. We don't say anything. We can gossip. We can scandal. You know, we can gossip. We can scandal. Are, ये तो किम्मी आंटी तो आई थी घर पे अब पता नहीं वो पड़ोसी का बच्चा दो दो लड़कियों के साथ घूम रही थी दिस टाइप ऑफ गॉसिप्स वी डू व्हेन अ गर्ल गेट रेप्स ओ माय गॉड जरा देखो उस लड़की को कैसे मुंह काला करके आई दिस टाइप ऑफ फकिंग स्टेटमेंट्स दिस आंटीज एंड अंकल्स गिव्स 
Now tell me why our country faces this type of problem and uh, this is the thing that we faces each and every day, each and every uh, moments of our life, why this happens. We can't blame the government, we can't blame the, you know, uh, anything else. No, we can't, we can't. We are women, why we blame? No. The thing is that we keep shut. The basic thing is that we keep shut. And you know why? I, I feel, I personally feel, and people have other opinions, and I respect other people's opinions. And uh, I personally feel that the main problem that we are facing in our country, so much of women assault, so much of sexually molestation that is taking place in, uh, you know, uh, on women, uh, the only one biggest reason is that we, we women, we are responsible for it, not men. For not political leaders, not you know, uh, not police officer. We are the biggest problem of ourselves. Now, why we are the biggest problem of our, problem of ourselves? We keep shut. We don't know how to speak. Yes, we don't know how to speak. I will give you a single example, which happened, which is a true event, which happened in my own life. I was in school and. Uh, uh, recently, you know, uh, when I was in school, I was, uh, you know, shifted in a new place with my family in a new home. And uh, we used to take cycle, you know, from school to home, we used to use cycles. And two of my friends were coming with me. And uh, somehow, I, you know, I was never a good looking, you know, sexy kind of girl. But two of my other friends used to, you know, look very good. They, they were very sexy girls. And they were like normal school dress. We were like normal school dress. They were very good looking girls, uh, normal school dress. And we were just having class in, uh, you know, the school got over and we took our cycle and started to, you know, uh, uh, walk uh, towards our home uh, by cycling. And uh, a couple of guy, couple of guy, you know, uh, just uh, passed us and uh, they used a lot of slangs. I mean, not slangs. I mean, those words i mean like hi babe hi sexy you look so soft and smooth that type of thing so they used and i i was literally a hot temper in my childhood i was so hot tempered i protested i took off or uh, you know uh, hold one of the guy uh, and pulled him from the bike and slapped him and the two uh, you know the two guys they were like like they were the newcomers in the business of this small station i will say that they were the newcomers that's why they just got so much of you know uh, so much of they got puzzled they got confused they got slapped from a girl and suddenly they got uh, that uh, total uh, you know incident happened suddenly that before you know the crowd uh, you know uh, that forced them uh, you know uh, the, the crowd can judge them they took off the bike take uh, took off their bike and just ran away Okay, then what happens next is the turning point of this story. One of my friend and, and two of my friend, both of the girls, you know, they were, when I was just, you know, having a conversation with those, I, I just pulled off the bikes, uh, you know, uh, bikers uh, uh, collar and slapped him. Two of my friends to whom they were, you know, uh, passing the comments. Two of my friends were standing in a corner. They were they didn't say a single word. Didn't say a single word. And after and after they ran away, obviously I, I got angry on them because I was talking on behalf of them. They didn't tease me. They they didn't assault me. They didn't tease me. They uh, passed comments on them, but they didn't say any anything. Not a single word. But I protested. They didn't say a single word on behalf of me. So I, so I asked one of my friends that why did you do so? Why didn't you speak up a little bit? I mean like you should have supported me. Then she said, I have to go, you know, in a regular basis on this particular street. I have to, you know, go uh, into, you know, school. I have to go into the shop, um, shopping centers. I have to go, you know, I have to uh, do my regular stuff. Uh, if I support you, you know, I, I can't take that much of risk. I can't take that much of risk to support you and make my life hell. 
this is the comment she told me this is the dialogue she told me after i uh, after i you know uh, protested those uh, protested against those molesters on behalf of her and in return she t she just told me that that no i have to uh, you know go for a regular basis on this particular road i have to survive like a normal human being i cannot you know support you otherwise you know they will be doing some harm in me uh, harm to me in my future and i asked so i i just i just got stunned i just got stunned and just looked towards the other you know other girl uh, who you know uh, among those two now the other girl supported her but did she didn't say anything the next day uh, i i just noticed that the other girl who was just you know uh, who didn't say anything uh, on the previous day was not talking with me at all was not talking with me at all and i later asked her that why you are not talking with me then she the other girl uh, told me that uh, she went uh, home after that incident of that previous day she went home she told her mother about that incident or, and her mother told her not to speak with me just because i can create problems in this two girls life and what was my fault i protested on behalf of these two idiotic stupid women now now i hope i can you know show you the reason why i am just telling you that women are the only problem for themselves nobody else people should wake up people should speak up women should speak up i mean like why and this is the most important thing i think that you know india is suffered a lot for its culture i mean like we love our culture we love our tradition so much like we are obsessed of it i mean like of course we should love our culture of course we should love our traditions but no, we should not be obsessed of it i mean like we ha we are in the 2016 you know uh, in the millennium we are is surviving in 2016 we are having you know uh, smartphones we are having you know dslr cameras we are having you know uh, lifestyle night clubs still we are just telling you know uh, we are having a medieval uh, mentality and we are teaching our children no baby don't protest never protest cause you know what if that guy do something to you you will be in trouble never 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 do anything you know never do anything if a guy pass comments on you you just think that god god has given you two years one year you have to you know impute those passing comments and on the other year uh, other year you have to you know release those passing comments you don't have to take anything in the middle you don't have to take anything this is the thing you know uh, we are teaching to our children and this is the thing we are teaching to our you know uh, to your son and you know if you have a child if you have a couple of child like you have a boy and a girl and you are teaching your girl that don't speak up don't say anything okay and at the same time you are teaching your boy be a man be a man you know like the whole world is you know within your feet be a man what the what the hell is that i mean like what do you mean by be a man do something good do something you know love a person no i mean like this is going somewhere else i mean like i'm so frustrated right now i'm literally can't think of it i mean everything is coming and you know what i'm i'm just telling you that that incident i just talked talk to you about that a couple of my friends that that incident that took place which made me stunned i went home i told my you know my parents that this has happened and my you know my friends uh, have behaved like that and you know what what happened my father stopped talking with me my mother slapped me yes my mother slapped me and said why did you just protested why it ha if anything happens to you who will take care of you just imagine so the basic thing is we have to you know discard all the medieval thinking we when when we see you know suppose you were just uh, you know lost in a island there was no one to give you food no one to save yourself then what you will do you have to survive yourself right you have to survive yourself you have 
you know what you you have to speak out you cannot suppress yourself for a long period of time i mean like you have to speak out for yourself you know uh, many men will tell many not only men many people will tell me that after watching this video why are you talking about you know uh, only men i mean like why are you so male bashing uh, you don't have a father uh, remember you have a father you have a brother if you are so male bashing if you say that all if you say that men are wrong then you will be saying that your brother and father is also wrong i said yes yes my brother and father they are also wrong i mean like okay so you can't uh, so i i can't say anything about men just because i have a brother and father uh, in my house okay fine so you can molest so you can you know sexually assault uh, you know women because uh, you don't have a mother and sister in your home is is that what you want to say is that what you want to say right wrong okay so that was the wrong okay in in those men case you know we can't and i think you know i have seen uh, you know people especially you know i i'm just w want to share a very single thing uh, in Facebook one day, um, I posted, uh, you know, uh, one of my pictures and uh, there, are, there are some psycho guys who literally, you know, assault women, uh, unnecessary. I mean, like, I, we don't, I don't even know them, but they suddenly appear on the comment box and give so much of, you know, uh, slang languages and bad, you know, fast comments in a very I mean, nasty word. They use. Okay, so I think we need to speak up. We need to raise our voice. I mean, many people will say that why you why you are just talking about India? Just look out, you know, uh, look outside of India. The whole world is suffering like that. Women are suffering a lot in the whole in every parts of the country, in every part of the world. I, I want to say them that is the thing. Women are suffering in every corner of this world. I mean starting from america to you know from india to everywhere women are suffering why i mean like i want to say to those women please speak up please raise up your voice you don't need uh, need any type of particular language you don't need any religion you don't need any you know you know a, any type of uh, you know support you don't need anything to clear up your voice just stand up make your spine strong and protest and speak up whatever you want to say i mean you don't need any type of language language barrier religion barrier is not an issue you want to speak up you just you need a clarity of thinking just you need a strong voice just you need a strong spine that's what, all what you need if you are you know like Protect yourself. Try to protect yourself. You just think you live in a barrier island, a barren island where you have to survive yourself. You just think about that. A simple thing I want to say that, you know, uh, you know, this, this is the topic where you can speak up on and on. You can go on speaking up and, you know, there is so much of controversy. There is so much of, you know, uh, debate can be happen. But I must say that, you know, this is not going to happen i mean this is not going to happen until and unless we women think that we have to change it and like this is true when akshay kumar told that when uh, you know why hooligans uh, get a chance to do these things cause our judgment you know judgment you know the span the you know supreme court or high court takes so much of span to speak up None of the, you know, any other court in the whole world takes so much of, I mean, like a case can, you know, go on in the court for 30 years, 40 years. And what will happen to that girl or what will happen to that person when they got, I mean, like the rapist usually gets, you know, that's, they usually get married. The rapist get married and the girl who got raped, I mean, like that girl's life got destroyed in that 20 or 30 years. What will happen? So this is the thing, this is the way we live in a double standard life and uh, again one thing that why we, we just live in a country where this type of rapist makes this type of comment, still the rapist don't get punishment but the documentary get, got banned. This is a very strange thing I have ever heard and one important thing is that I mean like 
this this can go go on and on i mean like after i know i after this watching this video many many people will you know slam me many people will say you know bad things to me in the comment box but i want to say that i mean like many men will tell that oh my god why why are you just talking about men like that i mean like you don't have a brother or father see if you blame all the men you have to blame your brother brother and father also i want to say to those men i who think like that is that i mean like you think that i will not speak up just because i have a father and brother in our in my home okay so i i will just not speak up for them of thinking about them i will not speak up i will not say anything what i want to say okay but you can molest other people you can sexually uh, other uh, you know sexually assault other women uh, cause you don't have a mother or sister in your home oh you don't have oh you have so you have a mother and sister in your home but you can do anything just because you are men and uh, you know me i can't say i can't raise my voice just because i have a father and you know brother in my home and i have to think about them rep their reputation and uh, so thinking about the reputation so all the responsibility is on my shoulder but you are the men are like free bird and can do anything like that it's not going to happen i mean like i have raised my voice i request all of the women outside please raise your voice tell something speak up what will happen nothing will happen when this hooligans will see that you have raised your voice and you have a lot of you know much lot to say and this hooligans will be scared to that to their death you know just kill if if anybody tries to you know force you physically kill that bastard frankly speaking kill that bastard doesn't matter you have if if you just you know uh, you know kill that bastard you will think yourself that is doesn't matter what this society says it doesn't matter what this cause you know this society you know we have a society which is a very degraded one we live in a society in a very degraded one okay and we always said that society is a dustbin okay and still none of us have the guts to go into that gutter and clean that gutter up we say that 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 you know uh, politics or we say that the society is a gutter but we don't have the guts to clean that gutter up so that is the thing that is the most important thing that we have to remember before criticizing anything before criticizing anybody just remember you have to stand up for yourself you have to protest because if you protest if you stand up for yourself and each and every people stand up for themselves each and every woman stand up for themselves and one plus one plus one plus one plus one this will go on continuing and this will make the whole country not only whole country the whole world stand up for themselves and you know these hooligans will get minimum in their quantity and they will demolished this is the thing i want to say so there is lot of things i li literally want to say in this video and i literally i have stood up myself i have stood up for myself i want you to get you know i i always be with you i will always be in support with you just go ahead and just protest just have the voice to pro protest lot of things to say i want to say lot of things but you know uh, this this will go on this will never end this will never end and i i don't know what to say anymore i i just really so tired of you know hearing all these things you know when you when i hear these things goes on in my country i i feel that what what patriotism i mean like what kind of indian citizen we are i mean we celebrate 15th august as our independence day i think most of our indian citizen 99% of our indian citizen feel patriotic on that particular day only but on the rest of the uh, you know days of the year we like we literally like we are not the citizens of our country we don't love our country we just love to have fun and you know you know disastrous way that that's not a thing if you feel that you have to you know you are independent and you have to celebrate your independence day then feel patriotism not only on a particular day feel patriotic in the whole year not only you know you know taking a indian flag and you know just swinging it uh, in 360 degree will not make you patriotic just be a patriotic in your mind respect other people not only women respect other people if you give respect you will get respect 
if you take care of someone else that someone else will take care of you that is the basic you know nature of human beings this is the basic nature of animals animals are wild don't be so wild that you are not even eligible to compare with the animals so so that is the thing i want to say at the end of this video i i, I again i am telling you i have lot to say more i want to say more i don't know why i mean what will happen after you watch this video and after many people i know what will happen to this many people will comment many people will bash me up but i don't even care i said what i want to say and this is the first time i'm just raising my voice in digitally but i have rectified myself a long time ago that yes i have to protest and i have done it in you know uh, in true events of my life i have protested and please women please do protest and please do stand up so that you can not only you know you are not an object you are a human being make that realize to other people okay thank you and please 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 take care of yourself bye and just take care of yourself if you are just going out of night you know some doing walk or having fun and and do wear short clothes there is nothing wrong in wearing short clothes or something like that you know making sexually appeal is not a bad thing do it and i literally support it uh, do wear you know you can wear whatever you want when people when men you know uh, put their dingles out put their dicks out and you know pee on the streets of the you know openly pee on the uh, uh, on the streets or the you know uh, footpaths on the walls then we girls don't get reacted or you know uh, or the men when you know they put their jeans you know uh, below the hips and they show their hips the cracks of their hips we don't we women uh, you know can control ourselves we uh, we women can't you know uh, we uh, don't uh, you know sexually molest those guys and if we girls have that much of capability to control ourselves if we guys uh, we girls have the uh, that much of capability to you know to respect men after after men doing this type of uh, you know stupidest thing in the open streets then why can't you know wearing a short uh, you know wear, uh, seeing a you know short skirt of a girl you know uh, i mean why a man can't control themselves after watching a short skirt you know a girl wearing a short skirt why not i mean like if i mean like if if men are really uh, are so much of uncontrollable then i think like uh, god should help this man i mean like seriously god should help this man and uh, you know ministers who says that no girls should don't go at the night and you know they should not wear any dress i mean like i mean like <laughs> i have nothing to say this they are the stupid and idiots the i mean like idiots ministers they have nothing to say they are not even you know like they are not eligible to be a human being what they who has made them um, ministers i have no idea i haven't done i haven't given you know them power i mean like who which human being has given you know uh, minister level power to those this type of men so please continue what you are doing okay and do uh, do continue whatever doing and please i mean like human beings can be bad that is a woman that is a man i mean like uh, in amir khan show there was a lady fine lady who says that women are uh, women can also be bad aap us aurat ko ek saath ki jagah pe baitha do wo bhi bura niklega wo bhi bahut bhaddar niklegi so men and women there are bad bad you know uh, bad influence in men and women so that was the thing and i don't want to speak any more i'm so angry right now i need some time and i need some space so take care of yourself take care of you girls and just go out and just take care of yourself and have a boys so um, that's all that's i want to say that uh, bye bye take care and please do check out my channel for some other reaction videos bye bye